That is Bergkamp, one of the greatest World Cup goals you will see. And Argentina are heading out of the World Cup. And good bloody riddance. Ah, Jonathan Pierce, live on air. And one of the greatest bits of live football commentary you will ever hear. Fantastic. Hi, this is Steve Pank and welcome to my Radio Nightmares. Quite frankly, the best bits on radio are when things go wrong. It proves time and time again, we're all human. We all make mistakes. Here's the news. Up to 120,000 more American troops are heading for the Gulf to reinforce the 90,000 already there. I'm sorry, can you by all means, I will. Yeah, no problem at all. Up to 120,000 more American troops are heading for the Gulf to reinforce the 90,000 already there. U.S. defense officials say the deployment... Crowds have gathered around the coffin of an assassinated Lebanese minister as it was taken to its final resting place resting place in Big Fire. Pierre Mayel... Oh, fuck. Good morning, Stevie Wonder, Smokey Robinson and Lionel Richie, just some of the stars who will be paying tribute to Michael Jackson later. A much-hyped memorial service is being held in L.A. today. 17,500 fans apply for tickets to the... <clears throat> rather, receive tickets to the event. We're expecting the singer's funeral... <clears throat> excuse me... to take place just a few hours ahead of the performance. <laughs> The two girls were grabbed by a man in Scunthorpe. The teenagers aged 13 and 15 were approached by a man on Sunday in the, in the car park on Francis Street at around 9 o'clock. He let them go after they struggled and shouted out. He's described as white, around 5 feet 8 inches tall, with short dark hair. A £3 billion overspend at the Ministry of Defence is being condemned. Four big projects, including uh. Typhoon Eurofighters and astute submarines, are being blamed for the majority of the budget crises. The MOD is already under the spotlight over the shortage of basic what? kit for frontline personnel. Tim Banfield from the National Audit Office says waste is unacceptable. The track record hasn't been good. Looking at some of the new... Statement number two, Nigel Benn, the Dark Destroyer, was originally going to be known as the South London Lisper. True or false? What do you reckon? <laughs> I'm gone. That's it. The end of my life, I'm gone again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm, <laughs> I'm crying. Uh, let me just say that again. <laughs> Nigel Ben, the Dark Destroyer, was originally known as the South London Lisper. <laughs> is that true or is it false? <laughs> It's a 171 4848958. Please call and help me. Steve Pank. Nobody thinks more highly of him than I do. And that'll give you some idea, because I think he's a tit. 92 to 95 FM. And 1341 medium wave. BBC Radio Ulster. I've no, I've no scripts, my screen has frozen. It wouldn't print out in my okay, screen's well, frozen. It's like I've no idea. That's okay, listen, you can't do anything. Would you ring Studio 8 and tell them, please? Well, we seem to have a technical problem going to the news, um, but we'll bring you the 11 o'clock news as soon as we can. You're listening to BBC Radio Ulster. Do not panic. Hi, Penky. This is Philip Chrysikos, and my radio nightmare happened quite a few years back now at Capital FM in the early days of computers in the newsrooms and also as playout systems in the studios. This must have been about 1999. Nowadays, when computers don't want to play something, they just don't play it. There's an error. There's a file alert. It just doesn't happen. In the early days of 1999, when we were on a, a Pentium 486, just running the early days of Windows 95, Five. This happened on air. I checked my bulletin. I pre-checked my audio. Everything was fine. I was reading it out. Everything was going so well until I got to the sport. Now, key to this is how long it took me to react during a live news bulletin. 
This is what happened. Gordon Brown says Britain's economy must come first. In sports with Carlton Weed, they first for football. It's Derby Day. Arsenal go to the Palace without Marcus. Over Marcus. Lewis Bowamorty likely to play. B. Dixon faces a London's weather back. remaining rather uh, overcast first off, but very sunny and warm by the afternoon and uh, above <laughs> average season. That happened live on air on Capital FM. But did you count the seconds? Seven seconds it took me to compose myself, realise something was wrong, compose myself again and think, Philip... I think you better step in here. Seven seconds of... It wouldn't happen today. Hi, Pinky. It's Ross King, and this is my radio nightmare. There I was, but a lad of 16, in Scotland, in Glasgow, at Radio Clyde, doing absolutely everything, making the teas, the coffees, photocopying stuff. But I was becoming technically quite proficient. And one day they decided that I could actually technically operate during the big news program the big tea time news program where you deploy all these bits of tape that contained all the news stories um so i was ready for it i was up for it what a challenge this was going to be incredible just 16 the only one thing i had to do was that it was from another studio so one studio then handed control over to me and all i had to hit was they were in studio b and I was in Studio A, and all I did hit was the Studio A button and the Studio Live button. But I got so nervous, I didn't hit the Studio A button, I hit just the Studio Live button. So I thought I was live, and guess what? For the first few minutes of that news, I'd put the station completely off air. I remember going in <laughs> to the boss's office, Alex Dixon, and I thought, that's it, I'm going to get fired before I've even started. And he said to me, Young King... You will never do that again. And I thought, that's so true because I'm going to get fired. And he said, you'll never do it again because you've done it once. And if you do it again, you will get fired. I learned a big lesson. Uh, Oh, yeah, there was the other time when I then was on air and I was referring to how hot it was at Buckingham Palace. And I was meant to say that one of the guards said his bare skin kept falling down over his forehead. But I said, yeah. First, the latest news headlines with Rachel Anderson. The Northern Ireland Education Minister, Sinn Féin's Martin McGuinness, has accused the government of making Republicans jump through hoops an awful in response to, to calls for Sinn Féin and the IRA to give straight... Everyone reading well, holes we'll... at the same time. Yeah, exactly. We wanted to see how open to new experiences the people of Liverpool really are and having this city-wide book to read. London has its poetry on the tube. We thought we'd have prose at the bus stop. Now look to public transport, new service still between Cheadle, Hume and Crewe. Uh, several of bus services affected. Oh, <laughs> you all right? And um, look to Metrolink, Sunday service in operation between Altrim and uh, Bury as well, so that's one to note. If you can update me, 01612444951. I'm Sarah Jane Marler. With more updates than the other guys. BBC Radio Manchester 2020 traffic. BBC Radio Manchester. Yet another prison has been condemned for its poor conditions and treatment of inmates. The Chief Inspector of Prisons, Anne Owers, has called Dartmoor as bad as Camp X ray, with inmates being caged, degraded, and abused. But the prison service manager in the South West, Jerry Petherick, says they're starting to make changes. I'm sorry, that was clearly the wrong cue, uh, the wrong audio. I do apologise, but there are if, there are some good prisons. Juliet Lyon is the director of the Prison Reform Trust, and she says... Let's have a look at the Nationals. What have you picked up from the Nationals this morning? Well, Macca, anyway. Oh, no. But the, uh, I think the key thing there is that um, this Heather Mills McCartney may have sort of um, shot herself in the foot on the... On the um... BBC Radio Cambridgeshire. It's 10 o'clock, I'm mostly back to the headlines. You will listen to BBC Radio Cambridgeshire or you will be exterminated. Well, apologies for that. Fish supply is in decline. Cambridge Alzheimer's charity marks centenary and the Welsh Joneses congregate for world record weather a cold, dry day, highs of just 11 Celsius. This is too precarious. It isn't giving them the stability that they're used to, certainly in the French system, which, you know, where you have a job for life and the social security system looks after you, uh, you know, until, until your elder years. And they're saying that this just certainly simply isn't good enough. And it's slave labour, they say, by the back door. And we've seen a lot of signs and slogans and banners to that effect today. 
Have you got a student there that we can talk to? Fuck. Uh, very sorry, I think we might have heard something there we weren't supposed to hear. We're in Bambridge this morning on One Road Travel. Hi, I'm Kerry Rippon. Kerry is a lifeguard in a local swimming pool. Oh, is she? She says weekends are the worst, let me tell you. Lots of jumping in and bum- bombing all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, high five. Oh, hang on a sec. Let's just recap. <laughs> Wait, what's the address of this place? <laughs> I want to go. Wait, Wait how, how, <laughs> how quickly could we get there? What people do is jump God, in. God, tell you, at my local bath, I don't even allow heavy petting. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind that. <laughs> B B O M B I N G bombing. It's when you jump up and hold your knees. Makes it worse. She's an Aquarius. Goodbye for me. Uh, and nobody cares now. Eight thirty-seven. It's Brit nominations day. We'll find out later who's up for what. Kaiser Chiefs, Casey Cun- Casey Tunstall, and the Magic Numbers are all going to be in there. And after thirty years performing, Paul Weller will be honoured with an outstanding contribution. Now, a difficult man to forget, man to forget. but well worth the effort. Who is this? Steve Pink. Well, I'm listening to the girls, and I can see how you both feel. But I think Al Qaeda is a lethally dangerous man, um, and I think that he would go for the prince big time. So I have to think, could Prince Harry do something else towards this war than actually be out there? Because I think, you know, yeah, I think they'd be out to kill him. So I think Qaeda needs to be found and buried forever, so to speak. So like we shouldn't allow that. This is not good. Women always get what they want, apparently. That's according to Gorani Vinicius. They're never one to sit on the fence. I have a feeling he may stay away from the likes of the Williams sisters for a while after that comment. Dot, we thank you for that. Dot Davis reporting live, as you can hear, from under the umpire's chair on Centre Court. The needs of the people involved when it comes to development. Powerful stuff from Phillips Extra tonight. Thanks, Roger. Me, personally, I'm with Mrs Pascoe. Fuck the government, fuck the planners. (laughs) It's uh, six thirty-one. Should we get the headlines uh, with Simon Moffat? We'd just like to apologise for. Uh, like to apologise well. immensely. Soulful session with the Dream Team on Radio One. So it's Sunday night. At, oh fuck! See, that's what I'm saying. Don't say fuck or bugger. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Sunday night, is it? Not anymore. Saturday night. Saturday night. Which tennis star has been known to enjoy a fag behind the back of court number one when he's not playing? Is it A, Tim Henman, B, Roger Federer, or C, Rafael Nadal? Uh, <laughs> a nice easy one to start. Uh, yeah. Don't there take it so too ma- There are so many answers there that I presume for legal reasons we can <laughs> I was going to say, yes. can you read that question yeah. again? <laughs> Which tennis star has been known to enjoy a fag behind court number That's one? That's what I thought you <laughs> Give me a guess, anyway. So that's your lot for this edition of Steve Frank's Radio Nightmares. Don't forget to hit subscribe to hear more. And the final word on this podcast from Jonathan Pierce. This is useless, Darren. Useless. Absolutely useless. Look for a new presenter Saturday. I'm not doing it. It's driving me nuts. Driving me nuts. Driving me nuts. Driving me nuts.